Earth is a dynamic planet that has continuously changed during its 4.6 billion year existence. Since our planet's birth, rocks have been continually forming and over time changing from one kind to another. Each rock, whether a small pebble or a giant boulder, tells a story. By observing a rock's characteristics, geologists learn about the forces that shape the portion of Earth's crust where the rock formed. Let's look at the three main types of rocks. Igneous rocks are called fire rocks and are formed either underground or above ground. Underground, they are formed when the melted rock, called magma, deep within the earth becomes trapped in small pockets. As these pockets of magma cool slowly underground, the magma becomes igneous rocks. Igneous rocks are also formed when volcanoes erupt, causing the magma to rise above the earth's surface. When magma appears above the earth, it is called lava. Igneous rocks are formed as the lava cools above ground. Note the difference between magma and lava. For thousands, even millions of years, little pieces of our earth have been eroded, which means broken down and worn away by wind and water. These little pieces of our earth are washed downstream where they settle to the bottom of the rivers, lakes, and oceans. Layer after layer of eroded earth is deposited on top of each. These layers are pressed down more and more through time until the bottom layers slowly turn into rock. These rocks are the sedimentary rocks. Metamorphic rocks are rocks that have morphed or changed into another kind of rock. These rocks were once igneous or sedimentary rocks. How do sedimentary and igneous rocks change? The rocks are under tons and tons of pressure which fosters heat buildup and this causes them to change. If you look at the metamorphic rock samples closely, you will discover how flattened some of the grains in the rocks are. The rock cycle is a group of changes. Igneous rocks can change into sedimentary rock or into metamorphic rock. Sedimentary rock can change into metamorphic rock or into igneous rock. Metamorphic rock can change into igneous or sedimentary rock. All these changes together constitute the rock cycle.